Hi, kindergarten. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about another animal. This one is super unique. Um, it is the orca. And orcas live in all of the oceans across the entire world. So we've been learning about animals specific to each continent, but the orca um, kind of belongs everywhere. So I thought that this would be a fun animal for us to learn about today to finish off this week of learning. All right, so again, this is an informational nonfiction text. So we begin here with our table of contents that tells us what we're going to learn about. And then if you read the headers and then you look over here, you can also see the page numbers that you'll be able to find more information on each topic. All right, so our table of contents we have first, what are orcas? We're going to find that out on page four. Then we have big, black, and white on page eight. Wolves of the Sea on page 14, Ocean Rulers on page 20, and then our Glossary on page 22 to learn more on page 23, and our Index on page 24. So if you are doing a report or you just wanted to learn something specific about orcas, you might open up this book, look at the table of contents, and just pick one of these areas to go to to find the specific information that you are looking for. So table of contents can be really, really useful. All right, let's get started. So what are orcas? Again, here's our heading right at the top. Remember our heading tells us what we're gonna be learning about on the next couple of pages. So what are or orcas? Orcas are fierce, powerful hunters. These mammals are very smart. You see mammals right here is this word in bold, which means that it's gonna be in our glossary. So we talked about mammals before. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that give birth to live young, except for remember the platypus that we learned about a few weeks ago. And um, they have um, drink their mother's milk, they have hair, there's several characteristics of a mammal. Remember, we're mammals too. So orcas are often called killer whales. So you may have heard them before called killer whales, but they are actually the world's largest dolphin. So we can see right over here, it says other dolphins. There's the bottlenose dolphin, the spinner dolphins, and striped dolphins. Remember, we also learned um, a couple weeks ago about the pink river dolphin that lives in the Amazon. So the orca is actually a kind of dolphin, even though people call it a killer whale. So that is a very fun fact that you can share with people because a lot of people don't know that. So orcas swim in all of the world's oceans. They are most often found in cold coastal waters. We talked about that word coast yesterday. That is where the land meets the um, water. So if you are at the beach, um, at an ocean, then you are on the coast. So they like to be kind of in these cold coastal waters. But if we see up here on this page, which is page number six, it says species spotlight, and then it says orca, it says lifespan, 50, 50 to 80 years. So orcas can live for a very long time. The depth range, they can be at zero feet in the water, so like right on the top, all the way down to 984 feet. So if you think about a typical swimming pool that you might go to, that swimming pool is going to be probably at most in like the deep end of the pool, 12 feet deep. So they can go all the way down 984 feet. So then it says orca range and it has this little pink box. So we look at the map to see where we can find orcas and you see that like the entire map, all of the oceans, we really see them everywhere. So they go to the surface to breathe. They are mammals, they are not fish. They cannot breathe underwater, they have to breathe air. Each orca has a blowhole, and we see that's a word in bold, so we know we're gonna find it again in the glossary. Each orca has a blowhole to take in air. Orcas may also breach to breathe. So look right here, this is an orca breaching. That means they're kind of leaping out of the water. Orcas may also breach to breathe. When they make a noisy, then they make a noisy splash back into the water. So their blowhole, of course, is right on the top of their, um, of them. And it's not like their mouth, like their nose in the front of the face, like where we have our, um, our nose. All right. So big black and white is the header for this section. So orcas are huge. They can be 32 feet long. Long. Wow, that's very, very large. 
if you want to look right here, it says orca size. Here's the picture of the orca in green. And then this is the size of an average human. So this is the size of a grown up right here swimming. Look at how much bigger that orca is than that human. Males can weigh up to 22,000 pounds. Females are a little smaller. So they are a huge, huge animal. Orcas have powerful tail fins and two flukes. These push the mammals forward. So here in this section, it says identify an orca. So black and white skin, a tall dorsal fin. The dorsal fin is what we call the fin that is right on their back and large teeth. The flukes are right here. That's kind of their tail. So orcas steer with side flippers. A tall dorsal fin keeps orcas balanced. So I found this really interesting because um, this is the same with sharks and some other animals. You'll see that dorsal fin that's on the top. That's to help them balance, right? So it reminded me of like a sailboat, how a sailboat has a keel on the bottom so that it does, so that it can balance upright in the water. So very similar to these beautiful creatures. All right, orca skin is colored for sneaking up on prey. So we know what that word prey means. It means an animal eaten by another animal, but we're gonna see it again in the glossary. We know that because it is in bold. The black looks like water from above and the white looks like the surface from below. So this is very similar to the penguins that we learned about yesterday. Their coloring is really so that when they're in the water, it's hard to see them from above, but and it's hard to see them from below. Beneath their skin, a layer of blubber keeps them warm in cold water. So just like we talked about a couple of days ago, polar bears have that layer of blubber to keep them warm in super, super cold waters. So here is the orca speed, and this is like um, to see how fast they go. So a dwarf seahorse is right here, and it swims less than one mile an hour. I will give you a little bit of an idea when Miss Arnold runs at her fastest, I can probably run seven or eight miles an hour, maybe a little bit faster, but not for a long time, like maybe less than a minute. So a dwarf seahorse is at just one mile an hour. All right, so it's going real slow. So I could beat a dwarf seahorse and y'all could too. All right, then we get to an orca. An orca swims at about 30 miles per hour. So already that's gonna be way faster then a person can go, a car can go um, 30 miles an hour, though, of course. So then we get, here's an Atlantic bluefin tuna that can swim 43 miles an hour and a sailfish can go 68 miles an hour. So they can swim incredibly fast. All right, wolves of the sea. Orcas are often called wolves of the sea. They live and hunt in groups called pods. So we've learned about so many different animals this year and what a group of these animal, different animals is called. So we learned like um, it might be a herd for some animals. Um, that for orcas, it's called a pod. So it's kind of their family group or their community is their pod. So these can have as many as 40 orcas. So here's a pod, which is just a group. Orcas eat about 500 pounds of food every day. They slam their bodies against prey. These carnivores, so that's a word in bold, so we're gonna see it in the glossary, also make waves to push prey like penguins off floating ice. Some orcas even slide onto shore to grab food. So if there is a chunk of floating ice in the ocean, then what the orcas will do is they will like jump up and then slam into the water and it will cause a big wave and it will knock the, the water will go over the ice and it'll cause the penguin or the seal or whatever they're eating to slip into the water and then the orcas can attack. So catch of the day, they eat Atlantic herring. That's a kind of fish harbor seals, chin strap penguins, which we learned about yesterday, lots of different animals. Orcas use sounds to talk to each other underwater. They whistle and call to other orcas. Each pod has its own sounds. So each community of, of these orcas has its own sounds that they can communicate. 
Orcas also make clicking noises for echolocation. So remember, we learned about echolocation with the river dolphins. We also talked about how bats use echolocation, and this helps them find prey and swim without crashing into things. And they don't want to crash into things that they don't mean to because they are so, so big. So female orcas have calves every three to 10 years. Calves drink milk from their mothers until they learn to hunt. So ocean rulers is the title of this heading. As adults, orcas do not have predators. They rule the ocean. So we talked about food chains a little bit. The orcas are at the top of their food chain. So they really don't have anything hunting them in the wild except sometimes people. So, and here's a little calf. They're very cute, although they're already huge. So here's our glossary with some new words. And these are in alphabetical order. So we talked about that a little bit when we were still in person. Um, and that just means A, B, C order. So there were no bold words that started with A, but there were some that started with B. So here, that's why those are the ones that are first. So blowhole is the hole on top of an orca's head that is used for breathing. Blubber is the fat of orcas. Breach means to leap out of the water. Calves are baby orcas. Carnivores are animals that only eat meat, so they are carnivores. Dorsal fin is that fin on top of the orca's back. Remember, that helps them to balance. Echolocation is the use of sound waves and echoes to determine where objects are. Flippers are flat, wide body parts that are used for swimming. Flukes are the two halves of the orca's tail fin. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that have backbones and feed their young milk. Pods is a group of orcas. Predators are animals that hunt other animals for food. And then prey are animals that are hunted by other animals for food. So I'm gonna put um, some more links below for some additional videos to learn about orcas. You can also go on Epic to access more books to learn about orcas. They are a super cool animal to learn about. So we have learned about three animals this week, the polar bear, the penguin, and the orca. So I am interested to hear your opinion on which one of those was your favorite and why. So I look forward to seeing that and I will see y'all later.